Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I will be sharing my honest thought about this salicylic acid as part of my skincare routine. So basically, I am using a cleanser, official cleanser that contains a salicylic acid. So on this video, I will be talking more on the St. Ives Solutions Acne Control uh, Cleanser and the other one is the Canine Baro Lab. And the other one is the Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Cream Cleanser. So if you are subscribed or following me on most of my video, I already made a video about this Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser. And the reason I am bringing these two products right here in front of me because I just want to compare the little difference about these two products. Of course, in terms of prices, Cetaphil is a little bit higher and uh, St. Ives is much cheaper. So before I'm going to talk in detail about this thing, let's talk first about this salicylic acid just in case uh, you have not watched my previous video. So salicylic acid is really great, especially if you have skin discoloration, uh, hyperpigmentation because it can gently exfoliate your skin. So another reason why I'm so in love using salicylic acid, especially on the cleanser, because salicylic acid has a lot of therapeutic effect onto our skin in the long run of using this one. But always remember, when you are using this salicylic acid, it may tend to dry out your skin. So if you have a dry skin type like my skin type, you always have to use a more creamy moisturizer after using this one. You don't want to use a retinol lactic acid right away after using this product because it will really dry out your skin. But if you have oily skin types, then I guess it's okay if you're going to use this one and you have to use like a jelly type of moisturizer but for me personally based on my experience i love using anything that is creamy a uh, moisturizer after using this one because it may help to it may tend to dry out my my skin and which is i like preventing my skin not to dry out because we know that salicylic acid can cause like drying effect if it's too much onto our skin so now let's have a quick comparison about these two products so let's start on the cetaphil so the cetaphil gentle clear clarifying acne cream cleanser it has a salicylic acid of two percent and this this Cetaphil, I, I believe when I purchased this one, it was $10 or $12. I can't remember. It's been a while that I purchased this one. So it has a little bit higher prices. And the only thing that I love on this one is that it has no fragrance and it has a white tea and aloe, which really suits the skin. And, and uh, as I googled what is the benefit of white tea onto our skin, it helps to prevent our skin from early signs of aging and it has a lot of antioxidants so which is really great for our skin so i believe i am not going to elaborate so much on this one because i already made a video on this one so now let's talk about this scent eye so this scent I it says right here that it is 100 natural and it has a tea tree extract and we all know that this tea tree extract has anti-inflammatory effect and it helps to soothe skin so if you have acne this tea tree extract is also great another thing is that it says that two percent salicylic hello it says that it has a two percent salicylic acid for acne medication it clears blemishes and it helps to prevent new ones from forming for clean and clear skin so this is oil free dermatologist uh, recommend or tested same with the Cetaphil so now I'm going to give my honest thought or honest opinion about these two products so since I have a dry to normal skin types I always have to choose which kind of cleanser I am going to use and as I've mentioned a while ago I am in love of using salicylic acid as part of my skincare routine because of its therapeutic effect and a lot of skin benefit that my skin can benefit so which product if you're going to ask me which product I am going to choose honestly this has the same active ingredient of two percent but the only thing that i am choosing still the, the cetaphil because it has it is fragrance free and aside from that it don't have a dyes it don't have a perfume because sometimes fragrance can trigger a skin sensitivity and if you are uh your skin is very sensitive fragrance is big no-no as part of your skincare but of course it is still your uh discretion if you still want to use a product that contains a fragrance but always 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 remember that fragrance sometimes can trigger sensitivity on the skin so another thing that i would say that this product is still good is that um when in terms of the size and you know the ingredients it's good some of it are really good but the only thing that i don't like it is that um 
this has a color artificial color what you call that dye and sometimes the dye can um, you know can trigger sensitivity onto the skin so I don't like anything that has a dye so if I'm not mistaken this says here that yellow 5 see yellow 5 blue 1 red I think these are the colors so I don't particularly like it and also when and also when I'm going to rinse this two product this Cetaphil is easy to rinse and this one you just have to get a little bit of amount because this bubbles so much and I feel like the product wasn't removed onto my skin but honestly if you are saving money this is also a good you know good thing to try you know it's always best to try and listen to your skin who knows if your skin would love it but for my skin it I don't have reaction on that scent ives but it's just like that acne control cleanser is just not for my skin although it don't dry out my skin so much I just don't like that this has a fragrance and I was looking on the ingredient I don't like that this has a fragrance and I believe this one has a color I am not sure so let me know in the comment section if you know about what this yellow 5 blue one and red 33 means on the skincare because I am not a dermatologist and I am not a you know doctor to say that and I don't know what does it mean so if you have an idea please share your thought about it so anyway these are just my opinion we all have different skin types so make it sure when you try this product make it sure to do a patch test and you know if you have a very sensitive skin maybe just try to use the gentle clear Cetaphil because this has a perfume or fragrance and you know it's a very big no-no I like a skincare that has a fragrance depending on the product but for this one that it is a cleanser and it has a fragrance I don't like it because um, sometimes it may trigger sensitivity and it's just big no-no for me so that's just my discretion so anyway thank you so much for watching and yeah I do hope to see you on my next one bye bye